Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here coming to you from Moab, Utah. And behind me, the Jeep Chief. It is a one-off concept vehicle that harks back to the old days of the Cherokee Chief and what have you. Now, this particular one, which is being driven by a grandmother, is basically a Wrangler underneath. And then the nose is very similar to vehicles that Jeep has used in the past as other concept cars, like, oh, the new Kaiser. This grill is different though, you may notice. It doesn't have seven slots. So coming up next, I'm gonna take a little spin in this baby. I cannot wait. Question, can you, can you make a, uh, a credible, uh, Homage to the uh, the 70s full-size Cherokee two-door out of a four-door Wrangler. Uh, I think we did a pretty good job. Pretty cool. Um, every body panel except for the cowl panel, I think, is modified on it. Wheelbase is the same. Um, one sixteen-inch wheelbase. It, again, Mopar two-inch lift kit on it. Mopar supplied the, the 44s with uh, lockers in it. This is by far the most extreme out of all of the concept vehicles at the 2015 Easter Jeep Safari. I mean, by far. <laughs> my parents, my dad specifically, used to have a Cherokee Chief that was highly modified and he actually got a little irritated with it because he kept burning out, like literally in our driveway. Um, but this vehicle is based on a Wrangler and it is, well, just the underside, really. The rest of it, almost every part of this thing is custom built. And it is, it's not having any problems off-road. It won't have any problems off-road. Seventeen inch Anson Sprint slotted mags. When I was in high school, every Camaro had slotted mags on it. Uh, incredibly difficult to find now. Uh, especially at a 17, uh, it was like the hallelujah moment when we found that. Um, put it up on big, ridiculous 37 inch tires. We've done this nose a couple times. You've seen it on the uh, on the new Kaiser and on the J12. First time we've done the, uh, the Razor grill. First time it did more than seven slots. One of the unusual parts is for tall people, that low, low roof, which is awesome because it has this amazing wood in it. It has a very low window and it's cropped here as well, but the back doors are completely cropped. So it definitely has that look as if the roof has been added as, you know, a detachable fiberglass roof from the old days. It's really cool on the inside too. We definitely need to show you guys what it looks like inside. There is so much attention to detail and there's so many cool little things. So it was all done by the design team. The paint scheme I think is authentic. Uh, super duper reaction from everybody on this. Then the interior, we went crazy with the surf theme on it. Uh, it's got a white interior with a hibiscus flower print. Why? Just because that's how we wanted it. Uh, left it a four-door, fully functioning rear seat to it. The, the roof is this cool um, rosewood slats to it. And again, rosewood slats on the back, the tailgate still open time, everything. Uh, manual transmission shifted with the Tiki guy. Shift now. <laughs> if there's a detail we missed on it, I don't know what it is. This wood, which is amazing, goes all throughout the vehicle, in the back as well. Definitely gives you the whole surf rider feel. This should be somewhere in Southern California, where I grew up, or maybe in Hawaii. It just definitely has that feel to it. I would have preferred they put the Hellcat V8 in here, but they didn't, <laughs> and that's okay. It is, it's so cool. They'll never build it, but you never know what you're gonna see 
in the Mopar Jeep catalog. You know, there may be some components that'll look a lot like the ones on this one. Well, maybe not. But I know a lot of you guys out there are very, very industrious and creative, so maybe you can make your own. If you do, let us know. Maybe we'll uh, come out and videotape it, because I gotta tell you, it's worth it. It's so cool. Between the completely unique body, the roof being lowered two inches, between the rosewood being used inside all throughout the interior, the hula style seats, the hula girl up front, all of the stuff that's original and unique. It's a super cool design. And by the way, the grill actually harks back to the original Cherokee Chief. Driving it, yeah, it basically drives like a Wrangler with a very low roof, but it's still a phenomenal idea. And I challenge any of you guys out there to try to make something like this. I mean, how cool is that? For the Fastlane Car, this is Nathan Adam. Don't forget to go to tflcar.com for news, views, and real-world reviews. See you later.